Hello again, welcome back to Asgard, and welcome back to Elix. So, we're picking back up after the last episode, and I actually went ahead and warped on up to the Tavar Mountains, and mountains because I think we're going to head up here to speak with Sestok. Um, because apparently he's the one that can teach us how to operate a converter. So I figured we'd go ahead and do that, that way we can start shutting down some of these converters around... Um, you know, around the world and everything, and kind of start getting rid of those, because we don't want them doing any more damage than what they've already done. Oops. Oh my gosh, where did all these things come from? Let's do it. Oh man, this thing is nasty. Like, just beating them down with this hammer is great. I've been wanting that weapon since the first time we met the clerics. Like, that cleric hammer is... Oh, I bet that thing hurts. And we got that increase to uh, strikes. Like, the damage of our strikes. Um, but anyways, this is just a little ways to the north. Not too far. And then I figure after we learn how to control the... Or, oh, well, I don't want that. I do not want that. I'm just going to bypass that. Come on, Nasty. Let's go. Anyways, once we figure out how to, to shut these things down, then we may go on a short little side mission to go shut down some of these converters. And then, um, after that, I guess, I'm kind of thinking about going and seeing about doing Nasty's quest. Because she wants to go find a challenge, and it sounds promising. I actually kind of like her in a weird sort of way. I mean, she's got probably the foulest mouth ever, <laughs> but she is quite likable. In a sense. Um, once we get a bit more charisma, we can get that other group. That other, like, the next level of that group ability. Um, speaking of... Energy drinks give you regeneration. Okay, I'm going to put these on the bar. Like right there. <laughs> okay. Anyways... Oh man, we got we got guys a plenty right here. I'm gonna pull them all up together, maybe. There we go. That's what I want. Right. Okay, not too bad. I feel like we're getting pretty strong now. Like, we can handle the world. I mean, we're still relying on that, uh, that amplifier a lot. But, I mean, that's, that's part of the clerics. It's kind of like, you know, mana or anything else. Magic with the, uh, the other people. I don't know how that really compares to the amplifier, though. And, like, I don't know what the outlaws get for sure, but, um, I <laughs> know I like this amplifier. That's like the best thing ever. Oh, do we want to check out this town? I feel like we do. I feel like we need to check this out. Is this a town or is this just a big building? Looks like a couple buildings, maybe. I don't know. Let's let's explore it. Ah, uh, it's toxic gas everywhere. Okay, never mind. We do have that quest, though, to go to the fort and get some of those gas masks, right? Because that guy wants us to go in that one converter... Um, I figure we're going to do that, but uh, one reason I've been holding out on it is because I would like to get the ability to shut down the converters whenever we go for it. Because we've already found a couple converters so far, like the one up there in Abessa and then the one up near Zaycor, like for the clerics. Um, I guess, not really near Zaycor, but the clerics place. Oh my gosh. That guy is in a converter. But yeah, we found this one, this one, and now we've got another one here, and then there was uh, this one here. Oh man, converters all over the place. I just wonder if uh, Thief's Amulet, didn't we already get one of those before? I think so. Yeah, plus one, oh that's plus one pickpocketing. 
We've never pickpocketed anybody. I just don't think we're a very, a very stealthy character. So I don't think pickpocketing is really in our blood. Maybe if we wore the thief's necklace, though. Like the necklace that magically makes us stealthy. And pickpockety. Oh, there's a cave right there. That runs through. But these guys don't show up as red. Let's go around to the cave that actually enters into that. It looks to be this one. Yeah, they're separatists. Hello, friends. Good to see you. Hey. Good to see you too. If you need more information, then speak to Sestak. He's at our headquarters in the converter in South Abessa. I told you, speak to Sestak. He's at our headquarters in the converter in South Abessa. I didn't say nothing. Was it? Yeah, not now, all right? Oh, there's a recipe for strong energy reserve. Was uh, Kestak the one that we spoke to before with the quest? I want to say maybe. Oh, there's a teleporter here, though. Converter in South Abessa activated. I feel like we've been going around to converters. Like, this is... Like, the last few episodes have been, like, the tour... De converter. Oh, oh, that's bad. Oh, oh, there's bad guys. Brought boar. Kill it. Yep, he's looking for trouble. No, get him, nasty. Oh my gosh, there's another something. Oh, that's a separatist. Okay. I was like, wait a second, there's something coming up on me here. Yeah, you guys both get it. Oh my gosh, I am dying over here. Okay, she killed it. We didn't get XP from it though. Maybe he killed it. Whoops, wrong, wrong button. <laughs> Maybe he killed it, and that's why we didn't get XP, I don't know. Um, oh, by the way... Um, okay, we are wearing our survivalist uh, amulet. That's what I wanted to check on real quick. Oh my gosh. Ice beams. Never came, never came across those before, but I'm low on health, so we're just going to do that. Keep it away from me. You realize, Nasty, if I die, we have to reload. Alright, good job. Alright, let me actually save, because I don't want to have to run all that again. And, actually, I think I saved right before we came down to the converter, so it's not so bad. Alright, I wonder if we can shut down this converter. I'm betting not. I mean, I guess we could just go crazy and kill all the Separatists, but... Not really what I want to do. We'll talk later. No, we won't. <laughs> you don't have a name. You're not important. All right. I guess we could have came around that way. That's where everybody else is going. Hey, all these power waves and stuff. These are okay money. I guess that's their leader. Jax, Commander Jax. If someone had told me you would turn up here, I wouldn't have believed it. I heard you were dead. They tried to execute me. I got lucky. Disgraced, but not dead. An exile. Now the great commander stands before me. How times change. So what can one Alp rebel do for another? I need your support. And why should we help you? It seems like we're on the same side, Sestak. The Alps from Zaycor tried to kill me. What do they think of you? The enemy of my enemy is my friend? Isn't the fact that they want us both dead enough reason for us to help each other out? No, that's not enough. Nobody has forgotten your loyalty to the hybrid. You would have done anything in his name. I should kill you here and now, in case you decided to rediscover your loyalty to him. You need me, Sestak. Accept it. You have no choice but to work with me. This is an opportunity, Sestak. We should work together. Or you idiots should talk before drawing your weapons. You need me, 
Sestak. Accept it. You have no choice but to work with me. You're no longer an Alb. You're weak, Jax. Why would I ally myself with you? Your narrow-mindedness is the reason you won't succeed. You're thinking like Alps, but you lack their strength. Speak then, Jax. I will give you three chances to persuade us. Before we decide your fate. Oh, great. Okay, you are dependent on Elix. I'm not. You can learn from that. Try anything and you'll be the first to die. My experience as an Alb commander can help you defeat the Alps sent after you. You're fighting the Alexiters, they are my enemy too, or Kallax tried to execute me. Um. You are dependent on Elix. I am not. You can learn from that. You are still tied to Zekor while you take Elix. Even now, you are taking on a fight only because of your addiction. Elix weakens you. Elix strengthens us physically and mentally, while your emotions weaken you. I need to just be able to use, like, my suggestion. Like, believe me. Okay. Um. Oh, my gosh. My experience as an Alp commander can help you defeat the Alps sent after you. They know you as well as you know them. That could be a weakness. And your knowledge of their orders is weeks old. It is useless. Good. Uh, you're fighting the Elixirs, they're reminding me too. Kalex tried to execute me. You are fighting the Elixirs. They are my enemy too. Someone from Zekor ordered my execution. Can't you see that our fight is aligned? Yes. Our struggle is not with the Alb people. Only with their leaders. The things the Alb stood for. The true vision of our people. These things have been pushed aside since the hybrid appointed the Alexiters. And you were their most faithful servant. You saw to it that the hybrid's word stood above all. You and your brother Kallax worked together to kill all who stood in the hybrid's way. How can I believe you have rejected all that past loyalty? Your arguments have failed to persuade me. But I will give you the chance to prove your value where words have failed. But why would you do that? Your survival without Elix. Away from Zekor is remarkable. You have lasted far longer than I could have imagined. That makes me curious as to how you have mastered the power of emotions and navigated the world of the free people. It makes me wonder what you will do next. I will find Kalix. I want to get my power back, the power I had as an Alb. I've joined a faction. The equipment I have should be good enough to take on the Albs any dawn. I met some of your people any dawn. How do you justify targeting your fellow Alps? Um. I met some of your people in Eden. Yes, Nezol and his men. I also know what happened. Anyone else in your situation would probably have killed them. It speaks well that you did not. Yes. I've joined a faction. Then I hope this brings you strength. The cleric's technology is comparable to ours, and they are fully committed. To stopping Zekor's victory. That connects them to us. But they fear the Alps since we split from them, and that means they have no trust for separatists. What else do you have to report? Hmm. The equipment I have should be good enough to take on the Alps in a dan. I knew you would find the tools you needed to survive. That is good progress. But there are still some things to take care of. Come back when you have more to report. How do you justify targeting your fellow Alps? We don't celebrate these deaths. They are sacrifices to a greater cause. You know the Alps and Zekor aren't free. They are blinded by the words of the Alexiters. Their minds are controlled by the hybrid. We separatists will see that influence broken. We will bring all Alps back to the true purpose and meaning of the Directive. All Albs, including you. The Albs are about more than serving the hybrid and his need to consume all Elix. We broke with the clerics to follow logic instead of religion. To achieve the next step in evolution. The logic of this still holds. We must return to our true purpose. And if I won't join you uh, in your quest, I'm no longer an Alb. 
or the strong will always win. Since we have enough emotion for I am no longer an alb. I am no longer an alb. Your roots will always be a part of you. You cannot escape your past. The highest goal of the directive is to deliver all Elix to Zekor. That is what they say. But what do they use that Elix for? What were we working to achieve? You know better than I what Elix can do and what risks it carries. With their synthetic implants and all the Elix they have taken, the Elixiters have lost the ability to see things clearly. The will of the hybrid is all that they know. The Albs will be free to evolve again once the Elixiters have been removed. Weakening the Albs means that the free people will come to power. We have our agents and scouts all over Magalan. As soon as one of the other factions could endanger our purpose, we shall move to stop them. Okay, you really believe this raptor shit? You think that you can change things? You have planned this well, I'm impressed. Or you don't have the numbers to stop either the free people or the Alexers. You don't have the numbers to stop either the free people or the Alexers. Our numbers are growing. And we have become very effective in the way we operate. In your time as commander... You proved that effective action could be taken without needing large numbers of troops. That was important to you. Yeah. I will find Kallax. Kallax is the greatest threat left in Zaykor after the hybrid. His attempt to execute you, if that is what it was, shows he will stop at nothing to see the hybrid's will is done. That makes him the big threat to you, Separatists. That is true. They say he has taken your place and now leads the Alb armies into battle. Then we should fight him together. Your quest for revenge. It feels like an emotional need. And so what? That doesn't change the facts. Or he wants me dead, killing him is logical. He wants me dead. Killing him is logical. So you deny that it is emotional. We will see. But whatever the facts, it is still too early for us to attack the Alexitos directly. And if they find you, then they will kill you. I suggest you stop the Alexiters discovering your resurrection. Your raider crashed in Edan. If the Alps there find someone who has seen you alive, then word of your survival may reach Zaykor. You should kill those Alps before they can tell anyone in Zaykor that you are still alive. You think Zaykor doesn't know I'm alive? We have yet to hear any intel that indicates that they have learned of your survival. You want me to kill my old comrades? It's a logical step, but eliminating Alba soldiers will not be easy. Well, I don't think I'm strong enough to fight them. You want me to kill my old comrades? How many deaths do you have on your hands? Why should it matter that they are Alps instead of the free people? What does it matter whether you are killing to fulfill the directive or to stop it? I thought your fight was with the Alexiters, not the foot soldiers of Zaykor. Believe me. I don't like the thought of killing Albs who have not had the chance to think about the truth. But the troops in Edan are not only capable of reporting your presence, but ours too. They threaten our existence. Meaning, you want me to take care of your business. You want our help. We want you to prove you share our interests. This will achieve both our aims. Okay, um... Very well. Where can I find the Alps in Edan? They are monitoring the converter in Edan. Someday Zaykor hopes to reclaim it. I will send the coordinates to your adjutor. I've already done it though. Yeah. I've killed the Alps in Edan. So I have heard. <laughs> it seems you are willing to fight against Zaykor. I think that's like a memory flash every time that happens. Cutscene time! I feel like the story is like going somewhere, getting somewhere. We've been doing a bit of story here lately. We'll get back to side quests though before too long. But I just want to learn how to shut down converters, and I was trying to help the clerics. That's all I was doing.
You did well, Jax. The cleric's attack has been pushed back. We are preparing our counterattack. Save your troops for the converters. We must secure the elix supply. I will see that is done. Why do they do it, Jax? Can't they see these attacks are hopeless? Emotions make animals of men. Don't try to understand them. I think the time is drawing near, Kallax. I think the hybrid will soon take us to the next level of evolution. The hybrid sees all. The hybrid will be served. His is the future. I wonder who this hybrid is. you and Kallax never were the squeamish sort. Killing those few soldiers took brute force. We'll need a more strategic approach to deal with the forces in Zaykor. That is true. But you have shown a measure of the skills that will be required if you are to achieve your goals. That is good progress. But there are still some things to take care of. Come back when you have more to report. Oh my gosh, him and his reporting. How are you planning to weaken the Alps? Our first step must be to shut down the converters. That's what I'm here for. That's madness. You aren't strong enough to fight Zaykor. Compromising the directive will only make total war inevitable. Or yes, you're right. Let's destroy the converters and weaken Zaykor. Yes, you're right. Let's destroy the converters and weaken Zaykor. And it must be us who does it. We must lead the process that stops the Alexiters. You should be a part of this, Jax. The converters must be silenced. This is the control code that will stop the Elix extraction program. It will stop a converter from operating. But the code has to be uploaded directly into the central computer of each converter. We will start with this one here, in Southern Abessa. How do I get access to the converter's central computer? You will need to access the converter's control center. That is always located in the upper area of the extraction tower. What can you tell me about the defenses there? Many of the units stationed there have been rotated out in the last few weeks. Our intel is reporting that they have been replaced by combat mechs, drones, and mutants. Good. I want to get my power back. The power I had as an alb. Of course you do. You were once the most powerful field commander in Zaykor. But as the elix has drained from your body, so is your power. You will have to find other ways to acquire strength. You cannot reverse that process now. You have changed, Jax. You must accept that change. The free people face destruction at the hands of the Alps. And they are now your only chance of survival. You must learn their skills and perfect them if you or they are to survive. I think your fate is now tied to theirs. Alright. I came to enlist your help, not that of the free people. Or if I hadn't been robbed while I was unconscious in the mountains, I would have had the equipment I need. If I hadn't been robbed while I was unconscious in the mountains, I would have the equipment I need. It is doubtful that the Berserkers would have been so quick to take your equipment. I would look to the outlaws of Tavar for the person responsible. Yeah. Try their outposts on the border of Edan and Tavar. I came to enlist your help, not that of the free people. And I am helping you. Now you must do your part. What you mean is you don't trust me. No. Not enough to risk the survival of my people on that trust. Maybe that will change one day. But until then, you must be satisfied with this alliance as it is. Shit. That was pretty good. <laughs> Alright. So, we have to shut down this converter. And then we're gonna go shut down other converters. I suppose... So, I'm hoping there's nothing up here. I was looking for a bed. Um, but there's no beds. I don't think the Alps sleep. I think they just stay up forever. Just all hyped up on their drugs. Let's head on up. Okay, yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything here. I'm assuming that they would have secured this place. I don't think there'd be mobs here. And then I'm hoping that the converters that we have cleared out thus far are still clear when I mean, it's just going to be a process of going over there and shutting them down, you know. Oh, I thought you were going to be bad for a second. 
Have a good day. Yeah, you too. You have a good one too. Oh, separatist what trainer. Goods have you got? A uh, bunch of junk, bunch of natural elix. Instructions to make elix potion. Um. That's the one that does attribute points, and we got one that does XP, and we got the strong one that does skill points. Alright. Kind of holding out on buying those, though, at the moment. Ooh, Plasma Rifle PT-3. What? That one is actually not as good as the Plasma Rifle that we have. So, never mind. Not quite as a as much of an exciting moment as I thought it was going to be. I miss. Oh, what? That was a lucky shot. I was just pressing random numbers, but I'll take it. I will take it. All right. I find it weird that all the converters have the same security code. Like, the same security override code. And I tell you what, before I shut this off, I'm gonna check up here. Um, like upstairs. Just in case they just, like, warp me down to the bottom or, you know, something like that. Never know. Just in case there's items up here. We have a chest. I will take that. Um, lock picking. There we go. <laughs> Too easy. Too easy. Small elix drink. Uh -huh. Now that I will probably drink. That's like a free 100 XP. Alright. Deactivate it. Ooh. Looks like there's a workbench on that thing. It didn't open those doors, did it? Oh, it actually looks like a Dia. So that's maybe how you get those doors outside open, is you have to shut down the converters. Then they open up the outside area. Interesting. But these doors don't seem to open. Huh. Well, can I go up here then? So what is this table over here? It's just like... Strangely out in the middle of everything. Oh, they have like loot on them. I feel like. Like this is like your congratulatory you shut down the converter kind of thing maybe. Okay, so I need to go down back to the bottom. Because it had like what looked like a force field around it until I shut that off. Ah. Alright. It's kind of all epic though when I go to shut down the converters, it's like doom doom do 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 like oh my god you're shutting down the the great machines. Okay, hey guy, I shut that off. Um actually do I want to uh let's let's throw on this other necklace here, the uh provider one, I guess. The converter in Southern Abessa has been shut down. That is a blow struck against the hybrid. Whatever he needs the Elix for, you just cut off one of his major supplies. I would expect Zaykor is already planning a response. We will prepare for the Ice Palace's attack. What about the other converters? They are your business. You know how to deactivate them, and that each one shut down will weaken Zaykor. 
We will prepare to hold their forces when they retaliate. I would say that ending the flow of Elux into Zaykor would be strategically beneficial. But you must decide that for yourself. That is good progress. But there are still some things to take care of. Come back when you have more to report. You and your reporting. The survivor. All right. Well, guess what? Guess what, Mr. Guy? I've got other converters that I can just pop on over and shut down. Shutting down the one in Ignodon, I think, would be a great step because that one is threatening the clerics. We definitely don't want that one running. Then we'll get the other one on the border to Zaykor. I think those three... I mean, chances are, with them being right near Zaykor, I think those would be good. Uh, now this is a place we can have some fun. Yeah, which means it's bad. <laughs> That's what that means. And hopefully everything inside hasn't respawned. The other one that we explored like forever ago, that's the one I'm more worried about everything respawning. Oh man, I gotta call all these elevators down. I'll be honest, I was like half expecting him to join our cause like and be another companion. Because we've been like on a companion spree lately. Ooh, more Elix. There we go. 2,100 for that one. I don't see any Alps outside. Ooh. Another converter down. Just in case there's like an owl party waiting for me outside, I'm going to go ahead and save. Zaykor is not going to be happy with us after this episode because they're just, we're just going around shutting down like all their converters. But I wonder like who's going to protect this one, you know, like Zaykor would just come right over and take it right back as soon as they discover like their Elix isn't coming in from this location. All right, let's go check our loot table. These are kind of nice. Like, these give you mega incentive, even beyond all the XP and stuff that we're getting. And it was pretty decent XP for, you know, closing that one off. Like, 2,100. And that puts us over halfway to 23. Of course, at 25, we're going to be able to go rank up with uh, the clerics, which would be nice. I don't know why it's, I saved right there, because it's going to auto-save whenever we teleport. So the other converter, uh, that's the one in northern Abessa, south Abessa. Okay, yeah, it's the one up here in the north Abessa that we've cleared out before. Assuming that it's still cleared out, I don't know. I mean, enough time's passed since that one that, you know, they could have just as well respawned. Well, really, a, a lot of time hasn't passed. Because, of course, this is where we went to get our drone companion. So, I mean, that was just a couple episodes ago, so no. Everything may not have respawned. And honestly, I don't know for sure that these... Yeah, it looks like some enemies have spawned that weren't here before. Like Mr. Ice Beal over there. Yep, he is. Go go kill him. I'm gonna drink that thing. Yeah, it looks like it's all clear. And then we'll go back and he'll... To Mr come back and report more things and we'll be like oh we've already shut down three of the things like now you gotta trust us because like surely after we shut down a few of these things and like really start crippling Zaykor's um, elix flow he'll start realizing that we're on the we're on the up and up so to speak look at these little mutants growing in the test tubes here we go, time for another dun 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 Only 1,050 for that one. It's not quite as legit, I guess. Looks like a cleaning bot up on that platform. Or a drone, maybe. One or the other. Take that, Zaykor. Taking the fight to you at this point. Okay, and then we'll go report to him, and maybe he'll give us a bunch of XP for, like, shutting these down. 
And be like, level 23, level 24. Pow, pow. Yeah, cleaning bot. Get it. <laughs> I don't want to clean. I don't want to clean converter. Yes. Those guys are okay to kill, though. A little bit of XP for free, basically. Not to mention, I wonder if that converter, like where Falk was, actually, I think that that connection bay was destroyed. I don't remember seeing, like, I don't know. We're going to have to double check on that one. I don't know if it had a loot box or a loot table or not. Ooh, what is this gun? The Redeemer. Ooh. Ooh. That is our first, like, I don't know, epic... Like, or at least named gun that we found. Let's take a look at this thing. So, the Redeemer, 3,120, it has 100 damage. Look at them stats 65 dex, 65 intelligence, which really isn't that bad. It is a upgrade for our, our plasma rifle. So, we would go from 42 damage to 100. That is a massive bump in damage. Like, honestly, I think going for 65 dex, 65 intelligence, um, is the way to go. And it says, um, unique plasma blaster kills quickly and reliably. And actually has a one higher magazine size as well. Yes, please. Okay, let's head to the converter in south of Bessa then. We'll go have a chat with uh, Report Man and uh, well, it looks like we still get cold when we get near that. What about this guy over here? Does he have anything to say now that we've like been proving ourselves? I told you speak to Sestak. Okay, well, fine. You just seem like you might be important down the road or something. The survival of our people matters above all else oh you don't even care that survival. the converters are down okay well that's cool he doesn't he's just like whatever don't care about that <laughs> I thought I was supposed to come here to report things okay so we got some other quests right um, alternative defense yeah there's nothing really there huh <laughs> Well, where else are there converters? Because we can kind of see these things on the map. I mean, they kind of show up. Uh, of course, there's this one, but it's been destroyed. We will go there at some point and see about, you know, if that loot box is still up at the top. There's also this one here. And honestly, I think that's the only one down there. And there's not any in Ignodon itself. So it's really... Honestly, I think that's the only one left. Like, the only converter left that I can see anyways. Is this one down here. So, over here in Tavar. He promised me a reward if I can go in there and get them, get him an energy amplifier. Let's see about that. He wants us to go in there. And we could also take out that last converter in the process. I'm assuming it's the last one. It's the only one I see. Other than the busted up one in the dawn, so. Then we could get this one in Tavar shut down. 22. And then we'd be done going through the converters. Which is kind of good because I, I hate those tight quarters. Like I'm just not very effective in tight quarters. Really I need to find a bed. If at all possible. Probably should have grabbed one in the hort, but or in the fort, but we've come too far. Yeah, yes, you need to get him. I'm not gonna make them angry if I can avoid it. He does not even care about them at all, I guess. That doesn't look scary at all. Right. Let's find some trouble. Okay. <laughs> Surprised it didn't hit that isopod. There we go. That's some serious trouble right there, I'll tell you what. What do we got here? 
It's a hive. Field with bugs. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> okay, let me uh, pop a potion here. Oh, that was a big one. All right. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Oh man. That those guards are all about us. They're gonna die against these like super bugs, I bet. Comboed with us, because I already did a lot of damage to them. Can't tell which one's dead and which one's alive. There we go. Well, you would think they would be like, oh, nasty, we'll help you out. But no, they're like, hey, get that guy. Get that guy that's like shooting things. Proprietary Edwards Condenser. No clue what that's for, but honestly, I wonder if that's not, um, Let's see if this works again. That didn't work. This place will get you sweatier than an outlaw in a brothel. You know a lot about brothels. I know a lot about outlaws. <laughs> um, honestly, I wonder if that's not a quest for that guy that's doing the bomb. Because they did tell us to help him. Okay, we are pretty much at the converter now. So, oh, let's see. I have to salt this. And I don't remember where he said the access tunnel was that he found. Like, I know he said he found one somewhere. Oh, there's Max. That fucking brute is looking for trouble. Yep, he is. He's looking for some trouble. Trouble. Where'd he go? He's coming down and around, I think. Alright. Oh, what is that? Ooh, we're going to have to go find out what that is. No. Out of ammo. Okay. Ha ha! Man, those guys die so easy now. And you know that we, we could take that robot killer as well. So we do extra damage against robots. But I have to know what this big nasty thing over here is. Oh! Good, it's a patron. Oh, man. Oh, there's two of them. What? Oh my god. And there's a raptor too. This is just great. Okay. Man, this is crazy. Gonna be a lot of XP though. Oof. I wish I could get them all together, but like they don't stay together. Is the problem. Oh, level up. <laughs> nope. Nope. Stay over here. Man, I don't know where he's at. There we go. Get you some. I will say these guys are dying a whole lot easier than they were before. You know, since we got that next level of psi damage. Like, these guys aren't too bad at all. We're kind of infiltrating this place under the cover of night at the moment. 
which actually I think there's a bed here. I just slept, but that's fine. I actually kind of like the nighttime. Now that we're not like scared to be out at nighttime. Oh man. And honestly, I think I want to keep working up towards equipping that new blaster. I mean, it's Dex and Ant. I have no qualms with raising those. And getting a blaster that does a bit more damage would be kind of handy, I have to say. So the Redeemer, we need 65 Intelligence, 65 Dexterity. So not too far from that. So let's go ahead and... Oh my gosh. They are five points apiece at this level. Hey. <laughs> God. More than I expected them to be. But Dex. Oh, it's because we currently have the extra 10 Dex. So Dex isn't quite so bad. Oh, man. Fuck the old world. They got all this stuff, yet they were stupid enough to crash our planet into a comet. Wait, what? We crashed it into a planet? Or into a comet? I think the comet crashed into us. I don't think we were, like, piloting the planet. I could be wrong, though. I don't know where that access tunnel, he said, was. I have no clue. Alb soldier. <laughs> and these guys don't even stand a chance anymore with this, like... All of our upgraded Psy equipment. Like, it is no thing at all. And at range like that, those guys are easy to dodge, too. Tell you what, these little, like, making a bunch of those mana pots was handy. The only thing is, like, that was a lot of collecting. Like, that was the culmination of a whole lot of gathering. And <laughs> it used up, like, all those resources, so... It's mainly iron ore that I don't have, and I think a lot of vendors tend to have it, so. so we get our save on. Oh no! No! Nasty! Where are you? Oh god! There we go. There we go. Bloody Baxter's legacy. Alb's feeding off our land. Useless asshole. Yes. That was the guy that used to run the fort. Um, that she took out. You know, because apparently she, like, led the... Led the attack on the fort to, like, take it back over from uh, Bloody Baxter. So. Pop lots of food. That was a little bit more than I intended. I just ate it all, but that's fine. Go ahead and pop one of these as well. Alright, this could be bad. I hate coming up these elevators. Oh. Okay. Yeah, this place is like dead inside. But I have a feeling when we do meet Albs, if they're all like... Oh, what is that? Oh, drone. Oh, oh. Yeah, I'm coming. <coughs> Go. We got somebody else. That fucking brood is looking for trouble. There we go. Those little drones are hard to hit. Honestly, I probably shouldn't even bother wasting my mana on them. I wish I had like a flashlight. I do have those magnesium torches though, so I guess that'll do the trick. But I kind of wish I had like a hands-off flashlight. It would be kind of handy, but... What about this door? Seven, three, four, nine, enter. That didn't work. Nope, didn't work. Okay. Now, somebody up here is alerted to our presence, so... But this is actually the last elevator we have to take up, so... That's good. That's very, very good. Cross this elevator. Combat robots. 
Say it ain't so. Yeah, kill him. Oh my god. I'm way too close there. Oh my god. I end up killing myself here. Ah. He ran up and I hit him with it instead of the wall I was trying to hit. Oh god. Okay, let's do this right this time. I'm just gonna try to. Nope, nope. I don't want it. Nasty. Nasty, what's going on? Oh my god. Not at all what I meant to do there. Oh my gosh. But like I gotta be quick about it because otherwise she's gonna end up getting taken out by that Alpha Commander because he hits like a truck. There we go. Now nasty, tank that tank that robot. He's after it. Oh my god. Nasty, get him. God. God. Okay. Looks like she's got him now. There we go. Phew. That was tough. Okay. Let me uh, pop something here. Healing potion. Now what do we got here? <laughs> Too easy. Too easy. And I'm not going to complain about it being too easy. Alright. I think you can pick the torches back up, but we've got a bunch of them, so I don't worry too much about it. Okay, looks to be everything. Let's shut this sucker down. Deactivate. <laughs> oh, I should have equipped that other necklace, but that's fine. Another 2,000 XP. And that should be the last, I think it's the last converter. Still don't know where that access tunnel he was talking about was. I'm gonna have to see if I can, uh... If I can find that, because I'm just kind of curious, because he said everybody was like, all their attention was focused on that, that gas leak. But the thing is, I mean, there's not really a basement. There's those little water sections down there, but I doubt it's down there. Surely not. Hmm. Nobody here. I mean, this was probably the most empty converter that we've ever encountered. And it was 2000 XP, you know, it was more than that one. Oh yeah, we never found the item that he was wanting either. Like that that guy was wanting, so give me all these things. A lot of natural elix up on this one. Like a lot. Like they are just tempting you to be an elix fiend in this game. The control wing of the converter in Tavar with radioactive gas. Promise me a reward if I go in there and get him an energy amplifier. What control wing is he talking about? I almost feel like it's supposed to be that thing over there that like, where everything is getting pulled in at. I'm actually kind of curious because there's another door that's always closed. Um, on the floor right before the top. And I wonder if we can actually get over into that place. I don't guess I've ever tried. Like, after shutting down the converter, there might be a whole other wing to these things that we totally missed out on. I don't know. Because I'm just going by the one in Edon, and a lot of that stuff was closed off, you know. 
Maybe because the way they destroyed it or something. But it seems like when you deactivate the converter, it opens a lot of those doors. So I don't know. It says it's like right up here. Ah. It's in there. I'm getting radia uh, radiation from that. But see, I don't know what the code is. I, I can't hack this thing. Okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's pop back over to... I know where one is in... Goliath. So I'm going to go there real quick. Um, I mean, I know it's about wrapping up point for the episode, but I, there is one thing I want to grab that's going to make our lives a bit easier as far as those go. Because we're at the point now... I mean, I'm getting just tons of skill points. Uh, well, I say tons. I've got two. But I also have those two potions that I can drink if I need for two more skill points. And we could always buy a recipe and make even more of them. Really? You're taking me into the Berserker's hometown? You have a problem with that? I thought we'd go somewhere more romantic. Like Zaycor. <laughs> but no, don't worry. I can deal with these tree-hugging motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, I like having her along, honestly. Like, she's just quite enjoyable. She's such a happy person. Um, let's see. Up here. Yeah, not right here, but... That was an empty bed right here. That's perfect. What? What do you want? Sleep until the morning. That's all I want. Just a cleric. <laughs> he wakes up and there's just a cleric sleeping in his bed. I'm watching you. Alright, I want you to teach me something. Teach me some. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, I want to get, um, hacking. Allows you to crack electronic locks of the respective level. Then there's professional hacker. Each level gives an additional attempt when hacking. Hold your horses gives more time to complete hacking with every level. Well, there's only one level, so. And then mining improves the yield when extracting minerals. Increases with each level. Hey, now, we're taking... Uh, one point into that. Then I'm going to take a point into hack. Now I'm out of skill points. So now I'm going to pop those potions that I've been holding out on. We've got a lot of small elix drinks too, but... Oh, we got five elix drinks. I'm going to drink these things like mad. And then there's three skill points and... Whatever, let's drink these too. It's affecting our cold, but that's okay. We're clerics. We're not the most, like, warm and friendly bunch anyways. Okay. Now, you have to teach me things. I want to get hack, like, another level of that. Um, so we're waiting on cunning before we can go any more up on that. And then professional hacker, sure, why not? Let's take one, up, one point in that. And we still have one more learning point. Honestly, I'm probably going to take... Lockpicking. We'll take a point in that, and then we have the necklace, so now we can pick level 2 locks. I'd like to get at least one more point in that. Uh, before too long. So we can actually open... You, We can throw on that necklace and open up any of the... Uh, we can open up any of the locks. Be kind of handy. So, Alright, so Dex. We are done with Dex. 65. Um when wearing the necklace so and I'm actually gonna go ahead and dump those extra two points into that as well 67 decks would be good and then we just have to get that intelligence up which that's like what two levels and we'll be able to get it which isn't and it's not terrible and then we'll get like another point in decks so all right that technology will get and we're about halfway trouble. through to 24 so not too bad but anyways, I know it's about wrapping up point. Next episode, we will go back. We're going to finish out that quest for the um, the guy in Tavar. We'll go back there and just kind of hack that terminal. Because now we should actually be able to open those. Um, honestly, I should have taken hacking sooner. But I've been... There's so many things I want to take in this game. So it's kind of just uh, working towards it sort of thing. But So next episode, we will... We'll start off doing that, and then we'll go see if we can turn in that converter thing, because I don't know of any other converters anywhere. Um, I mean, because the one in Edon is down, and what we'll do is we'll probably go back and hack the one 
It's either this one or this one. I'll have to review the footage or this one. Maybe it's two of those, but um, yeah, it's it's the one here where those guys are, and then I think it's this one maybe. One of them I got lucky on the code and just got it, but um, we'll see, and we'll go back and hack those and go into their command center terminal things, so um, and see what those have in them. And then we're probably gonna see about doing the quest for Nasty, um, help her out, and like with her quest. And everything. It's actually kind of kind of sad because, like, of course, whenever we killed Duras, I keep getting loading screens like, no one, no one will know now, like, what Duras could have brought to the fight against the Alves and all this. Like, the load screens just trying to make me feel bad about Duras, <laughs> so which I don't feel bad about him, but, um, but yeah. So, anyways, next episode we'll go finish out those converters, kind of wrap that whole section up. I don't know of any other converters, so. Um, after that, we'll switch gears and do nasty stuff, and then we'll see where that leads. So, um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, as always, be sure and hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe if you're not already to stay up to date with when new videos come out. And I hope to see you guys next time. So until then, as always, do take care, stay safe, and I will see you guys then.